Hi, let's pray. Uh, we're going to read, uh, then we're going to read Hebrews uh, chapter 14, verse 14. Hebrews, uh, excuse me, 12, verse 14. Father God, I pray that this word goes out and does not come back void in Jesus' name for the, your glory and your love. Amen. Okay, Hebrews 12, 14. I'm reading from the King James, and, and uh, I think it really sends a message here. So, Hebrews 12, 14, follow peace with all men, and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. This is a very important verse, one is, that has been distorted by all means, and uh, I am very, very concerned about it, that it has been taken out of context. Some people, some, unfortunately, churches and pastors are using this as a whipping boy to keep you doing discipleship development. That's not what discipleship development is. It's not in fear, but in love. And in and you want and you're cheerful about this too. So you've been lied to if you've had this experience. You'll find it in you'll ask for your uh, for for a church's doctrine. And if you see this verse used for eternal security uh, purposes, you've been lied to. Right now I'm printing as I'm talking to you, it's kind of kill two birds with one stone here uh, for my mother and uh, relatives. Uh, my grandfather's memoir. So, uh, anyways, getting back to verse 14. Uh, this has been totally taken out of context. Uh, let me tell you what it really means. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. What's that saying? It's saying that do God's will in Jesus' name in everything you do and men shall see God because without doing that you know men will have a will not see God and you you apply that to scriptures by the way I want to talk about the Bible and doing God's will and how that uh, there's you've got to really get it in context or you can really mess up big time uh, anyways that's what it means you the believer Follow peace, you know, follow peace with all men as much as possible. And holiness, that's discipleship development. Doing God's will in everything you do. And, uh, and, and, and then, they'll, then, then people who aren't saved will see the Lord. This is the m very important for all believers. So all of you are, uh, uh, all of you are important. I will talk about this further uh later on okay and uh, uh i i will uh i still have some time okay but just understand that don't be fooled don't let don't let uh, uh church leaders use this or parachurch leaders i'm not saying all are doing this better not <laughs> uh, but many are in america i'm sure other places too using this as a whipping boy to get you to do things uh, for the church. That's wrong answer. That's not, it's not applied right. In other words, they use it, I should explain this, they, sh they use it to, as a threat, if you don't do this, you will lose your salvation. Now, what does that remind you of? Work salvation. That's wrong answer, my friend. God wants you to practice peace with all men, and I practice, of course, the peace we all know that passes all understanding, Jesus Christ. And holiness in Jesus Christ. He's everything you need with Scripture in His name. For asking the Father, of course, and the Holy Spirit to guide you, who He will teach you everything that Christ wants Him to do for you as a believer. Okay? <laughs> it's it's fear that that people do this verse when it should be love and an attitude of a cheerful giver don't be deceived don't listen to you i'm telling you you're hard on yourself and you'll and you will harvest more for the lord's kingdom for his glory 
and you will express God, the love of God, with the help, only by God does all the work, mind you. You some plant, some water, whatever. God does all the work. Remember that. Remember the source, God Almighty. In Jesus' name, Amen.